Hi, my dear followers. Sorry, I didn't make new video for at least several months because we are really too busy. And yes, and thank you. We, we crossed 10,000 followers on YouTube. Uh, right now, I have one really critical topic, which we had a lot of questions, and that's the, the, that our booking system is overloaded. As you can see, our parking, parking lot is fully loaded. But today's topic is something what customer asked, we try to deliver. And that's how EV Clinic is built, to help all other workshops and even customers. We already know that we made um, one of the best large drive unit repair procedures and repair kits. But the problem even in our workshop was to optimize, reduce the cost of the repair process and automatically we would reduce the cost of ownership cost on the on on the on this vehicle and this exact large drive unit <sighs> everybody who ever tried to repair the large drive unit it looks easy but it's more complex than battery pack repair battery pack repair is at least five times easier to do than the large drive unit and one of the steps, I will focus only on one step. We already covered the rest of the large drive unit. But this topic is how to remove those two B-rings from SKF. Uh, Domagoy, remember, remind me, it's 6... Uh, 6310. 6310 and 639. Oh, yeah. It is extremely complex to remove this. Uh, we we have full of, of box of tools, uh, uh, B-ring removal tools to extract this bearing. The problem is, these doors are ex exact same, just to show you that here, so you don't get confused. This one is extremely complex. None of the tools we can show Domagoy, please. Domagoy is one of our best experts here. None of the tools Here, as you can see, it doesn't fit in, and you cannot find tool which fits between the gear. Also, yeah. can't fit. So, we really had one big issue, one big problem, how to solve the problem for easy removal. So let's say per complete process, we are we were losing just for two, those two beings, we were losing something around maybe two hours. Yeah, probably in the beginning, yeah. in the beginning maybe now it's one hour, but sometimes we, we break the tool, which we prepared. Uh, I don't know what do we have. But it's something similar like this, something so we similar, modified one of these. We modified the yeah. angle, but then the thickness is very small, so it breaks so, easily. So we break one tool per, I don't know, 10 large drive units, so it, it wasn't sustainable. And what we are trying to focus, we are trying really to lower the cost of large drive unit repair because Model S and first adopters, they deserve to make Model S immortal. Only way to do that is to optimize with the work uh, with, the, with the work tools, repair tools, and repair kits. So let me show you here. This was something I have seen on TikTok. One guy from Netherlands who was working on the on the gearboxes. He had something similar, but I had bet I had better idea. So we made the tool like this from two parts. Parts. Mm -hmm. And in in less than two minutes, you use Milwaukee, and you push the, the bearing out. In the same way, in the same way, we had the same solution. For this bearing, because even this bearing was really, critical and really complex to take it out. So what we did here, we, we, we designed in-house, we made the drawings and we sent to a local company in Zagreb, one kilometer away from our workshop, to make this tool. And he, uh, he produced the tool in <laughs> less than five days. And those are the first prototypes, which will, will be available at our lower link of our main web page of headquarters. You fix the bolt. This is an example. And 
bearing is out. And same procedure is for this one, which is much more, much more problematic than that one. And the problem is solved in less than two minutes for both bearings. And you can press in with this great little new bearings out in, and you can proceed with the assembly of the drive unit. This tool is really robust. Soon we will probably release a repair toolkit for large drive unit, which will help you to remove all individual bearings so you don't need to waste time. So you can reduce a bearing change in less, let's say, than 30 minutes, not four or five hours, because it's, it's, it's really messy if you don't have proper tools. And the problem is you need, you don't know what fits to each of the, of the bearing. You need, like we did, look here, we ordered almost everything. So we ordered, I don't know, maybe 2,000, 3,000 euro of different tooling sets just to remove one bearing. So with our tool, you will save money. We will prepare a big box with all removal to uh, re a bearing removal uh, uh, sets like this one for complete drive unit and you will be able to order it through our web shop or our partners and for this type of project we are looking for partner who will join with us to, uh, uh, to as assemble fastest as possible one more than one kit uh, repair uh, tool kits uh, for large drive unit for all, all other third-party workshops and and uh, our franchise workshops so stay tuned. We are still working on several projects, at least 15. And this is this was one of the my one of the latest and one of the, my favorite one. Stay tuned and subscribe. Bye bye.